I am so excited to be here, and I'm excited that you guys are here. Definitely take pictures, video, whatever you want. Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview, call me Adam.com. So first up, we have award-winning composer, lyricist, and again, the writer of the theme song, Bobby Cronin. Bobby, come on up. Yeah, because I want somebody to cry. I want my Oprah moment where somebody cries, and I'm hoping it's gonna be you. I almost got you to cry in our, in our last interview. Yes, you did. I know. So my mother Bobby, was like, Bob, Bob, you're almost crying. I'm from Boston. Yeah. You're almost yeah. crying, So maybe Bob. this one will put you over the Please, let's see. So one, another one of my favorite songs of yours is Daybreak, which is all about looking forward to the night ending and a new day starting. When has there been a time in your life where you just couldn't wait for a new day to start because the day you were in sucked? I hate you. <laughs> I love you. That's why I'm doing this. Um, well, I can tell you I wrote the song because of where I was in life. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it, I was living in Chicago with my partner who was Fierro in Wicked and it was gray every day and I, I just, I hated everything, I hated everybody. Um, I was far away from home, I just, I didn't, I could hardly sleep. So like that, that was really me, like sitting up and waiting for the damn sun to come out. Now fast forward, I don't know, I guess my dad's death would be, that's always the answer for anything. Yes. <laughs> dad's death, the show's over everybody, thank you very much for coming. But uh, yeah, no, my dad, uh, it took him four years to die. All right, well we're gonna uh, switch gears, because I don't want to keep it on it. I didn't cry. No, you didn't cry, which sucks. But another time, <laughs> well, another time, that's good. No, I can't that's do it. Good. No, you can't, you can't. Can. Can. But I'll get you one day. You one day you will cry in front of me. Um, so we're gonna bring up, we're gonna bring up uh, singer, songwriter, expert whistler, Broadway performer, Lauren Elder. <laughs> Stack Award winner and one of the stars of Orange is the New Black, Annie Golden, who plays Norma Romano. <laughs> Last month, you gave a killer concert at Joe's Pub, which I was very lucky enough to attend. Thank you! Um, with your band, Annie Golden Friends and Family, yes. which one of those family members is your nephew. Yes. Um, now, there is some talk that there's like going to maybe be an album. Well, you know... Uh, well, I'm not saying that there is talk, I'm saying there should be talk that an album oh, should well, be Oh, thank produced. you for saying that! Yeah. It's just like when you've been doing this, as long as I have, people go, so what have you, what have you done? You've done so much in your career, Ms. Golden. What have you not done? You not do? And now I'm just saying it. I'm saying I've, I've done original cast albums. I've done singer-songwriter. I've written songs. I've fronted a band. I've been a uh, guest soloist on other people's composers, you know, compilation CDs. I'd love to do a CD of my own, of my own songs. So well, that's what I'm, I'm putting it out to the universe. Yeah. I'm putting my name on it, it, and I'm putting it on there. Yes. Uh, by our next interview, yes. I want firm, firm stance that it's being worked on. Okay, let's yeah. put it out there, all okay. of us. Woohoo! Yes. 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 Right. Um, I think it's time to introduce your very good friend. Oh, yes, please. So this is two-time SAG Award winner, who is also on Orange Is the New Black, oh, who plays Anita DeMarco. She has also starred in Nonsense and uh, everybody's favorite music video, Love Shack by the B-52s. Yes. And uh, a 
everybody's favorite cult film showgirls. Let's welcome Lynn Chuchi. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to ask you about Showgirls because it is one of my favorite films because I was a huge Elizabeth Berkley fan and when it came out I was so excited for her and then I saw you in the film and I was like, oh my god, who is this person? <laughs> and um, what, what, can you, what story can you share about your time making the film? Uh, but it was a great experience. I mean, I have no way. I mean, thank God I was the comic relief. Mm -hmm. I did not, you know. And Elizabeth was an angel. Mm. She was a sweet, sweet girl. She reminded me very much of a dancer's discipline and she was on you know she was always very much Johnny on the spot and just great to work with underneath those dresses was an armor of cables cable wires cable wires cable wires so there was actually I had I had to get into this um, cable wired dress with bladders underneath both breasts and when I would do the, the catchphrase ha ha they would watch my chest go up. Uh -huh. There would be this wire that went underneath all the way down there, two guys. It was almost very uh, antiquated. You thought they would be more sophisticated than this. But they would be popping the air <laughs> like it was like a, like a cartoon, like a Walt Disney cartoon, yes. And the air would come up, and this the bladders would push them up, and the dress would come uh -huh. down, and I would do the ha-ha, and that all on television, on, on the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that really did happen. But the good thing was they gave me one dress and one dress went to Planet Hollywood, I think. Oh. And the other one, I don't know, they used to cut it up and use it. <laughs> All right, well, since I have both you and Annie up here, we have to talk Orange is the New Black. Yes. How many of you out here watching? Yes. 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 Thank you. Okay. Season six. Yes. All right, this next question, I, I have a favor to ask you guys. Do you think you could answer it in character? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the best for you because you don't speak. But um, so, with the popularity of Orange Is the New Black, how do you feel your career has changed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of people know me. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I did promise everybody that you and I would do a whistle off. Yes! So yes! let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta, gotta work out this mic. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. I mean, there's almost no point in me doing it. <laughs> Come on, that was right, nothing. Right. That was easy. See, I got nothing. <laughs> that's why you're the expert. Well, that's the show. Thank you guys so much for coming. Andy Goldman, Lynn Trucci, Lauren Hodge, Bobby Cronin. You guys were amazing. Thank you for coming. Show, call me Adam.com.